converting a decimal number to binary. This is basically the opposite of what you did of converting binary to decimal. Now the first thing you're going to need is a decimal number. So let's work with the decimal number 196. And in your chart, write it over here in the decimal area. There's our 196. Now what you're going to do is in the value area here, you're going to find out if each one of these numbers go into 196 and then subtract it if they do. This is known as the subtraction method. And let me show you, let me go through this and show you how this works. First of all, down here, put your number 196. Now you start at the left hand side of the value here and what you do is you say can 128 go into 196? Well yes it can. 128 is smaller than 196 so it will go into it. That is true. So whenever we have a true statement, we put a 1. And then we take and we subtract the 128 from 196. And that gives us 68. Now we go to the next number. Will 64 go into 68? Yes, it will. 64 is smaller than 68. That is true. So we go ahead and subtract 64 from 68. And we get 4. Will 32 go into 4? No, it won't. 32 is bigger than 4. It will not go in. So that is false. You put a 0. 0 represents false. And then you go to the next number. Will 16 go into 4? No, it will not. Again, that is false. Will 8 go into 4? No, it won't. Another false statement. Will 4 go into 4? Yes, it will. That is true. We put a 1 here. We subtract 4, and our answer comes out to 0. Will 2 go into 0? No, it won't. That is false. Will 1 go into 0? No, it won't. That is false. We've just converted 196 to its binary equivalent. 1, 1, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0, 0. Now, let's take another number. This time, let's take a smaller number. Let's do 67. We'll convert the decimal number 67 to a binary equivalent. Now, well, first of all, write your number down here, and then go to each value and see if it will go into that number. Will 128 go into 67? No, it won't. 128 is bigger than 67, so that is false. Will 64 go into 67? Yes, it will. 64 is smaller than 67. That's a true statement. And we have to subtract 64, which leaves us with 3. Will 32 go into 3? No, it will not. That is false. Will 16 go into 3? No, it won't. That is false. Will 8 go into 3? Nope. Again, that's false. Will 4 go into 3? No, that is false. Will 2 go into 3? Yes, it will. That's a true statement. Put a 1 there. Subtract 2 from that, which leaves us with 1. Will 1 go into 1? Yes, it will. That is true. Subtract 1, and your final is 0. By the way, you should always end up with 0 at the end working with any of these conversions, converting a decimal to binary. You should always end up with 0 at the end. If you don't, then you know you did something wrong and you have to start over.